thanks for joining me today. I have three Christmas card shares for you. All three are a Z Fold style card. I once again used my stash, this Sizzix die of a Christmas tree, the little Impression Obsession tree dies, little, they're little trees. I used this 6x6 paper pad from last year and this Merry Christmas $1.50 bin stamp. And here's my card. So I cut uh, four of the trees. The center ones, uh, I added foam tape to the back. Uh, this one as well. And then the little trees here. I stamped Merry Christmas and heat embossed that. And then added three layers of cardstock to give it a nice frame around the Merry Christmas. And I'm going to give you the dimensions for creating, creating this Z Fold card. You do need a 12 by six inch card base. You score it at two and three quarters, five and a half, and five and three quarters. Now the uh, score lines that are five and a half and five and three quarters are so that you can have a gusset uh, and be able to add dimension to this section of your card so that it still lays flat and uh, like I said, you can add a lot of dimension to the inside. So that's my first card. And oh, I did layer this with the silver paper. Uh, I backed it with white cardstock and then my base. So that's my first card. My second card I used, um, let's see, let's do this one. This stamp set that I purchased last year and it is called Let It Snow by Avery L. I used this kind of a blue tone paper pad. Again, I got it on clearance last year. And there's one more die that I used, and it is of a little reindeer. It is by Echo Park, but a friend of mine came over today and she wanted to borrow it. So I'll insert a picture of the die. Uh, once again, it is by Echo Park. If you have a silhouette or are able to download images from the silhouette they do have this reindeer on the silhouette site under the echo park section so here's this card super cute um since i had the die it was facing this way and i just um turned this deer so it would face that way and i made it into a little girl i put eyelashes on her tied a bow around her neck and added these two little jingle bells his hangs a little bit lower and just tied it in a knot. So I think he looks like a little boy. And let's see, there's where I stamped the birch tree stamp. And I stamped all is calm, all is bright, and I heat embossed that as well. So when you open it up, you have a little forest. I think it turned out so cute. And then I just stamped the little birds there. I didn't heat emboss them or anything or color them in. I just kind of want them to just be a little bit uh, hidden there in the um, design. So those are, uh, that's my second card. Did I mention I'd insert a picture of the, um, the die by uh, Echo Park? I'll insert a picture of that so you will know what it looks like. If you go to the Echo Park site, uh, you can uh, see the, the die. Okay, the next one, I used this on the edge die, the Tim Holtz on the edge die, and this die that I got from China. And then I had these little stamps. Now these two I know I got at the $1.50 bin at Michael's a long time ago. They may have even been a dollar. I never used them. This one I had that went with a snow globe, but it was about the same size. And I wanted to put those three images in the window of this die here. So I'll show you my next card. I did use the large Christmas tree and the small Christmas tree dies on this one too. So like I said, I'm repeating the uh, stuff that I have on different cards, but you do get a, a unique look. So here's this one. So cute. So um, here's where I put the on the edge dies. Uh, this is a shaker card. I put two layers of foam tape behind and then the three little images I stamped uh, between each of the windows. I think it turned out adorable. Um, let's see. Uh, I sandwiched this in between the layers or right behind the die cut. 
from this die for the trees and I did add foam tape to the back so it would all be the same height and then once again I added my Christmas tree right here and a few of the smaller ones down there and yes it is a little shaker card and I used that Merry Christmas um, stamp again let's see you know what I'm talking about let's see I don't know where I just set it down but oh it's got oh, uh, uh. Okay. this again and I uh, heat embossed it in white embossing powder and then I used sequins that I had in my stash so I think all these cards turned out super adorable I'm glad I went with the same design for all cards for all the cards because they both all turned out unique so let me know in the description box down below which one's your favorite and thanks everybody for watching I hope I'm encouraging you to use your stash so uh, once again don't forget to leave me a comment as to which card you like the best so thanks everyone for watching thank you